Hi guys, so in today's video I'm going to be unboxing my glossy box subscription box for the month of May. This is my last glossy box out of my six month subscription so let's hope it's a good one. So I'm just going to get straight into it, open this out of packaging and see what's inside. Oh this is a nice looking box. So this is what the box looks like. This is a nice change. So this isn't their usual pink box, this is like a themed box. So it says let the sun shine so this is gonna be a nice summery box and it's just like a yellow and blue sort of ombre and it's just got some like gold suns on it that is really really pretty so hopefully you can see that so yeah it's nice to get a different box design in glossy box so let's open this up and see what sort of sunshine goodness is inside so here is the inside with the card that just says let the sun shine which has got the details of the products in this month's box. And then inside we've just got this blue tissue paper and a little yellow ribbon so this would usually be pink and black so again it's nice to have a different colour inside. Nice and fresh for summer. So it doesn't seem to be summer outside at the moment, the sun keeps going in which is a bit unfortunate. So I'm not going to look inside, I'm just going to pick out each item without looking and then I can go through the RRPs and things like that so it's a nice little surprise. So the first product I could get my hands on is a shower gel, so this is a lemon shower gel. It's a revitalising shower gel with lemon extracts and this is by the brand Kueshi Naturals. I don't think I've heard of them before. This is quite a nice big sized bottle. Just going to give it a bit of a sniff. So it smells more like lemon curd than like fresh lemons. I don't know how I feel about that. It might be a little bit better when you're using it as a shower gel but straight from the bottom it does smell really strong like lemon curd. But yeah nice for the theme of summer having a nice fresh scented shower gel. Nice to perk you up in the morning. So if I just look at the RRP on this one so this is a full size product and it has an RRP of £5.70, so not bad for that. So next we have some eye masks, so this is by the brand Radial and these are Dragon's Blood eye masks, so they're depuffing biocellulose eye masks. So if you've watched many of my glossy box unboxing videos before you will know that I love getting any sort of mask in a glossy box because I don't tend to buy single use masks myself so it is a nice treat when I get them in a glossy box and this will be nice to depuff the eyes hopefully that works. So this has an RRP of £6 and it's a full size obviously because it's a single use mask. The next product we have is a moisturising after sun gel. So this is by the brand Mine Tan Body Skin and yeah this is an after sun gel which if the weather was a little bit better in the UK at the moment would be a really good thing to have. So I'm gonna have to put this away and hopefully use this when the sun comes out maybe next month. But I think it's a nice little product to get in this box especially the sun themed box. So it says on the front, replenishing rapid recovery after sun gel, enriched with soothing aloe vera and niacinamide. So I reckon you could use that, yeah, on your face and body as well. So safe for the face, which is good. I'm quite pleased with that. I'm quite happy to get something like this in a glossy box. So this is a deluxe mini, so it's not a full size, but it's actually quite a big size. Um, and this is worth £13.35 for the mini and the full size, which is about three times the size of this is 28 pounds. So that is a very expensive after sun gel. So it must be good. Then the next product I've got is by Lottie London. I don't know if you can see, it's got like a holographic metallic -y sort of text on it. So Lottie London, I have heard of those before. And this is really difficult to tell what it says because it's metallic. So this is a powder foil metallic eyeshadow but interestingly you can't see the product in the glass at the bottom so i reckon this is a really shallow pan and the packaging just makes it look a lot bigger than it actually is so i'll just have a look at how oh okay oh right so it didn't have a seal on it so i'm glad that didn't go everywhere it's more of a glitter, I don't know if you can see, I might have to do a close up. 
but it's more of a glitter than like a metallic eyeshadow. So that's really weird. It looks like a glitter in the container. It's got like a little plastic thing to keep it all kind of in the container, but there's nothing that's sealed it over the top. So that could have gone absolutely everywhere. And it looks like glitter, like little pieces of glitter, but actually when you dab your finger in them and rub it, it kind of turns into, again, you're not gonna be able to see that, turns into just, just like a regular eyeshadow, to be honest. So what a weird formula. It does go on like a normal powder eyeshadow. And to be honest, it's a really nice color. It's a really nice bronzy brown, a little bit orange actually. Really nice bronzy color anyway. So I think that's actually really easy color for me to wear. I love like more neutral colors. I think that's perfect for the theme of the box as well, the sun theme. But anyway, happy with that. Let's look at the RRP. So this is a full size product, it's called Power Foil. It's in the shade Golden Hour and this has an RRP of 6.95. So not super expensive, but a nice little product that you can pop in a bag or just in your normal makeup collection. I just think it's a really lovely color. So yeah, happy with that. Then lastly, we've got a product by Ciarte London. So I love Ciarte London. I've had a few of their makeup products and their nail products, and they're both absolutely amazing quality, to be honest. I think they're really like underrated. You don't really hear people talk about Ciarte London, but their formulas, like lipsticks, nail polishes, and things like that are really, really good. So this is gonna be an exciting product. So what is it? Uh, it's called Definer Line. And it's, it says smudge proof and inbuilt sharpener. So it's some sort of pencil, but what it is, I do not know. Um, so it's a gel eyeliner with sharpener. And by the looks of it, it's like a gold color. So it's a little twist up liner. And I'm assuming the, yep, the sharpener is at the end, which is cute. I like that, always useful. And it's just a gold color. So I will, oh, that's lovely. So I'm not sure how well you're gonna be able to see this because it is really subtle, but that's the shade there. So that's a really nice, subtle gold, almost champagne color. And it is an eyeliner. That's really lovely, I like that. I don't really have anything like this. I tend to only get like black and brown eyeliners. I don't have like colored eyeliners, but I guess this would be really good for like lining the inner corner of the eyes, like a bit of a highlight. I think that would be lovely. Um, so yeah, really happy with that, to be honest. I love Ciate products, something I don't already own. It's a lovely color. Again, it's great for the theming because it's a lovely like gold color. You can use it to brighten up your eyes. You could use it with the copper Lottie London products we got as well. So I'm really happy to get that in the glossy box. So I'm just going to have a look at the RRP. It was probably gonna be quite expensive. So this is a full size and it has an RRP of 18 pound. So that's a really nice little product to get in this box. I think overall, everything in this box has been really well themed. I think they've done a really good job of picking really nice summery products. They all seem to go together really nicely. You've got a couple of makeup products. You've got the eye masks, which go with the eye products. The after sun I think is great. So really happy with this month's box and happy with my last glossy box of my six month subscription. As I say in all of my glossy box videos, I do genuinely recommend trying glossy box out if you've got the money to and you'd like like a monthly treat. I think they're around, I should know this, but um, around 13 pounds a month with postage. So not super expensive. It, you can sign up and only have one box for one month or you can go on a rolling subscription or buy a six month subscription as a gift. And generally everything you get in Glossy Box is worth at least 
about £50. Sometimes it's worth up to about £150 worth of products depending on you what you get that month. So I do recommend trying them out if you like makeup, beauty and things like that if you haven't already tried them. If you've not signed up to Glossybox before I will leave a link below that you can click on to get I believe it's about 20% off your first Glossybox. So if you do want to try them out then that gets you a little bit of a discount and you can cancel after your first month if you just want to try it for one month. So that is it for my May Glossybox unboxing. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you liked this month's theme. I certainly did. I thought it was one of my favourite boxes I've opened in a while to be honest. If you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already if you enjoy content like this and I will see you in the next video.